describing exactly what makes good character design is is hard, but I tend to think the best character designs are those that don't stand out or call attention to themselves. Uh, it was a huge learning curve for me coming from games to uh, to film because one of the biggest differences is when you're running around in a game, everything has to look cool. You're you know, you as a player, you want to look awesome, you want to see awesome things, you want to do awesome stuff, but that's not the case in film. In film, it's all about the performance, it's about what the actors are doing on the screen and you're trying to capture that. So I figured out that anything that distracts from that, like if you make the characters too cool or the environments too cool, suddenly the audience is focusing on the wrong stuff. They're not paying attention to the performance that's happening, they're busy looking at some guy in the background saying, Hey, I'm a cool character, check me out. So I find that the character designs, the audience doesn't have to think about and just make sense and are immediately believable. Those are the best designs. Good character design is a combination of, for me, appealing design, like I want to look at it just because it's attractive to me, and really smart shape language that gives you an economy of description of the character in like the fewest and most concise shapes possible. You just get this really whole view of a character and you know who that character is just based on a few shapes. And I think, you know, if you're gonna look at it from Dexter's lab, Dexter's just like the squatty little square, you know, with the big triangular glasses. He's kind of hard shapes and compact, you know, blocky little, little, little shapes. And then you have his sister Dee Dee, who's these big, noodly, bug-eyed, like big, broad, circular shapes, and that contrast just says everything you need to know about the two characters. Good character design, I think, for me right now, is um, a strong sense of personality um, and a strong sense of um, relatability with a character, whether it's sort of a, a well-drawn design, an appealing design, a design that sort of like, um, I, I like to look at it, you know, the aspects of um, the, the graphics, the pure graphics of it, sort of what hits a general audience is the personality, but what hits us art geeks is like, the, you know, the art aspect of it, you know. So you kind of got to, you don't, you don't, you don't let the draftsmanship slide and you don't let the, the, the soul part of the character like slide either. You just kind of have to balance the two. I feel it's all tied into good design in general. Um, I think it's really tied to appeal. And appeal is like this elusive thing, hard to define. But I feel like it kind of, it's, it's, it's sort of like a, a good pop song where there's something that's immediately digestible about the character or the song, um, but there's enough like texture and contrast and visual interest. And I think being tied in appeal, appeal isn't sort of, it's not, doesn't mean pretty, it doesn't mean handsome, but it's, it's sort of like a harmony, like the same sort of tied in into a, a pop song. It has to have this harmony of, of form and detail. I feel for me, when I see good character design, I'm always, I'm like, what makes this amazing and you know you, you try to boil it down to I think it's more mathematical than it is art, artsy fartsy you know where the, there's a rhythm and the shape and the detail and the way um, the line of action is all these principles kind of tied into one neat little package. A good kid design is whenever you can look at it and you know what the story is you know like um, and then character design goes with good posing as well because if you have a good design you should be able to read the emotions of the character or the subject. Uh, good silhouette is a good thing. Uh, good shape design. Um, storytelling. I think characters should be storytelling just on its own. Cool. Yeah. Personality. Right. <laughs>